Hello everybody, in today's operating system class we will see some advanced problems in priority scheduling that is priority scheduling with the first come first serve scheduling after that priority scheduling with round robin scheduling algorithm. So let us see two different problems under this priority scheduling. First let us see the problem priority scheduling with the first come first serve scheduling. Here uh, first run the process which is having highest priority and second thing if two or more process with the same priority then we have to use first come first serve basis for selecting that prior pr that process okay see let us see one example for this here we are having five different processes and the corresponding burst time is also given here when come to priority the first priority is allocated to process 4 and second priority, two second priority will be allocated for process 2 and 3 and the priority 3 which is allocated for two processes P1 and P5. Now let us see how to solve this particular problem by using priority scheduling with the first come first serve scheduling algorithm. For this given problem, first we try to draw this gun chart um, which is the highest priority P4. So P4 will execute first, okay. P4 will start at time 0 and the bus time is 7, so 0 plus 7 which is equal to 7. Hence in the table we are having process bus time priority arrival. So if there is no arrival then we have to assume the arrival time of all process is 0. After that we need to compute start time, wait time, finish time and turn around time and finally we have to compute the average waiting time and average turn around time for all the processes. Okay. So the first process is P4 because it is having highest priority that will execute first. Okay. The starting time of P4 is 0. Okay. And finish time is 7 because bus time is 7 isn't it. So finish time is 7. And second priority processes. Here two processes will come under second priority P2 and P3. Hence as per first come first serve we have to select only the P2 for execute first. Okay, Because P2 arrive, arrives in the first then we have to select P2 first. So what is the bus time here? 5 so 7 plus 5 which is equal to 12 ok so starting time is 7 finish time is 12 for process 2 ok process 2 execution completed after that process 3 will get executed ok process 3 the starting time is 12 see this particular time and finish time is starting time plus burst time that is 12 plus 8 which is equal to 20 okay so process 3 is also completed now next we will go to the next priority that is priority 3 that is assigned to two processes p1 and p5 here as per fcfs p1 uh, comes first in the ready queue after that only p5 came isn't it so p1 will execute first now See what is the bus time? Bus time is 4, hence 20 plus 4 which is equal to 24. So the start time of P1 is 20 and finish time of P1 is 24. Then only the P5 will get executed. Okay. The bus time is 3, starting time is 24. So 24 plus 3 which is equal to 27. Okay, 27. So likewise all the process will be executed. Here the average waiting time for all the process is 12.6 and average turnaround time for all the process is 18. Okay. And next let us see the another method that is the combination of priority scheduling with round robin. Here first run the process with the highest priority. If the processes with the same priority then we have to run the same priority process by using a round robin scheduling algorithm with time quantum 2. Okay. So when 
they ask round robin then they will give the time quantum also. Here also we can take the same problem to solve uh, by using the priority scheduling and round robin scheduling. And now let us try to solve this problem by drawing the gun chart first. Okay, here the time given time quantum is 2 milliseconds. Right. So here the first priority is assigned to process 4. Hence without any interruption the process 4 will get executed. So 0 that starting time is 0 and the finish time is 7. Finish time is 7. So for P4 there is no problem. So because the P4 is having highest priority it will execute without any interruption. When come to the second priority two process are having the same second priority P2 and P3 hence we have to implement round robin algorithm only for this P2 and P3. Okay, so the first P2 will start executing for two time quantum after that P3 then P2, P3, P2 and the remaining time will be utilized by P3. Hence from 7 to 20 P2 and P3 will execute simultaneously uh, with the two time quantum. Okay. After that the priority 3 is assigned to two processes P1 and P5. Here for P1 and P5 alone we need to implement the round robin algorithm. Okay. So P1 will start at 20, after that P5 will start then P1, P5. So up to 20 second, 27 uh, millisecond the P1 and P5 will utilize the CPU okay, with the time quantum of 2 milliseconds. So with this gun chart we try to fill this uh, table that is starting time, waiting time, finish time and turnaround time and finally we have to compute the average waiting time of all the processes. Here the average waiting time uh, computation is somewhat different when compared to the previous scheduling algorithm. Let us see how this will be changed. Uh, from this gun chart we try to fill this table. Okay. The first priority is assigned to P4. So the P4 will start at 0 and finish at 7 because the bus time of P4 is 7. Okay, Without any interruption the P4 will complete its execution. So no problem P4 completed. After that P2 will start its execution because P2 and P3 are having same priority. So alternatively P4 sorry P2 and P3 will be executed by using round robin scheduling algorithm with time quantum 2. Okay. So P2 will start at 7 and P2 will end at 16. See P2 will end only in this place. See P2 will end at 16. After that P3 this is P3. P3 will start at 9 and P3 will end at 20. So with here only the P3 will complete its execution. So 20 is the ending time of P3. And after that P1 and P5 are having same priority. Hence by implementing round robin P1 and P5 will execute alternatively in the CPU. Right? So the starting time of P1 is 20. See P1 will start only here. P1 is 20. And the finish time of P1, see P1 will complete only here. So the finish time is 26. Okay. After that P5, P5 will start at 22. See this is P5. And the P5 will finish at 27. See P5 will finish only here. P5 will finish here 27. Okay. Now we have to compute the waiting time of all the processes. Here the waiting time is somewhat uh, different when compared to the previous algorithm here P1 the finish time of P1 is 26 but the burst time of P1 is just 4 so uh, in the 26, 26 milliseconds only 4 got executed the balance time is simply waiting time so 26 minus 4 which is equal to 
22 the waiting time of p1 is 22 milliseconds and next p2 p2 finish at 16 and the waiting time is sorry burst time is 5 so 16 minus 5 which is equal to 11 okay and when come to p3 p3 the burst time is 8 and finish time is 20 okay and the waiting time is 20 minus 8 which is equal to 12 okay and when come to p4 p4 there is no waiting time because this is the highest priority at the starting itself without any waiting p4 utilize the cpu and when come to p5 bus time is 3 finishing time is 27 so 27 minus 3 is 24 okay likewise we have to compute the waiting time of all the processes so here the waiting time is waiting time which is equal to finish time minus burst time okay and the average waiting time is 13.8 for all the processes and average turn around time here turn around time because arrival time is zero for all the processes hence finish time minus arrival time is turn around time here the finish time is equal to turn around time okay now the average turn around time for all the processes are 19.2 okay uh, up to this we have seen uh, the priority scheduling algorithm with first come first serve scheduling and next the priority scheduling algorithm with round robin scheduling algorithm so we have seen the same problem by using two different scheduling methodologies i hope this uh, uh, class will be very much useful to you and in the next class we will see another important topic from second unit thank you